As long as a man knows very well the strength and weakness of his teaching, his art, his religion, its power is still slight. The pupil and apostle who, blinded by the authority of the master and by the piety he feels toward him, pays no attention to the weakness of a teaching, a religion, and so on, usually has for that reason more power than the master. The influence of a man and his work has never yet grown great without his blind pupils. To help a perception to achieve victory often means merely to unite it with stupidity, so intimately that the weight of the latter also enforces the victory of the former.